Hey guys, this is Paige from Paperbacks and Lattes and today I will be talking about the books on my June wrap up. Okay, it is the last day of June while I am filming this and I figured that I would not be getting any more books read by midnight tonight <laughs> or completed. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about all the books that I read in June. I read 24 books in total. It's been a really awesome reading month. I did not de up any books and they've mostly been all four, four and five star reads. I think only three of them were three stars. I, I have my list of books that I read but I forgot to write down my star ratings. <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, but I think I only rated three of them three stars. The first five books are books that I read in a readathon. I will list that readathon uh, video down below. So I won't go into the specifics on those books. Uh, you can go watch the video to see what all I thought about them, but I will give you the titles in the star ratings. So the first one is Whipped by Jenica Snow. I rated it three stars. The second one is Dear Ava by Ilsa Madden Mills. I rated it five stars. The third one is Bound by Honor by Cora Riley. I rated it five stars. The first, the fourth one is Neat by Candy Steiner. I rated it five stars. And the fifth one is Taken by Lily Archer and I rated it five stars. So those are the books that I read for the first readathon that I did in June. I did two readathons in June. Since I had read Taken by Lily Archer, of course those are short uh, books that kind of leave off on a cliffhanger so I had to read <laughs> the next one to see what was going to happen and that book is called The Bazaar by Lily Archer. This story continues on from Taken which is the fifth book in the in the Fae's Captive series and this follows Gareth who is a Fae. He is like the right hand man of the king. Uh, he is his protector and he falls in love and is actually mated with Beth who is a human chang changeling and she gets kidnapped because her prior master who she escaped from wants her back and so she's kidnapped to be taken back and so he comes and tries to rescue her and of course there's many many <laughs> things that happen along the way and it's very good. Gareth and Beth's story expands over Taken, The Bazaar, and The Abyss which is also the next one I read so had to finish up their story. I rated them all five stars. And then next I read Roomies by Christina Lauren. This is a book I was reading in May but did not finish so I finished it in June. This follows Calvin and Holland. Calvin is a musician. He plays a guitar. He trained classically and he is illegal in the United States because he is from Ireland and his visa ran out four years prior and so he's just been kind of laying low and she sees him playing on the subway while she's taking the subway to work. Holland works for her uncle who is a uh, musical mastermind. He he creates these these like Broadway type musicals and she works for him and she sees Calvin's talent and wants him to play in her uncle's show but there is the whole problem with him being an illegal in the United States so she marries him so he will be legal and of course, this is like a fake marriage trope, forced togetherness. They have to live together. That's why this is called Roomies. I rated this one three stars because it was just an okay book. It seemed like it really dragged and some of the elements wasn't really my favorite. I was just kind of glad to be done with it after I was reading it. It's not a horrible book, but it's not the greatest either. So I rated it three stars. The next book that I read is Fire in His Spirit by Ruby Dixon. This is number five book in the Fireblood Dragon series. These are dragons who have entered the rift and come to earth and they are their minds are filled with madness and they terrorize and kill the humans and the humans are trying to save themselves in this 
apocalyptic time and the year is like 2023. Gwen is the leader of this fort. It's Fort Treveport. They kind of make these forts around the U.S. Um, to gather the surviving humans and try to stay alive. And she has been deemed the leader of this fort, but she feels like she's making too many mistakes to be leader. Um, she's just constantly stressing over if she's making the right choices and whatnot. And there is this dragon that is lingering around their city and he knows his mate is in there because he can smell her <laughs> and it is ultimately her and so this is her leaving her fort and leaving to try to save them by you know luring this dragon away from the fort and also and of course by doing that she falls in love and it is their story rated at five stars. The next book I read is Deep Redemption by Tilly Cole. This is the fourth book in the Hades Hangman series. This is a motorcycle club series. This follows um, Kane slash Ryder. He goes by both names in the book. In the previous three books, we see the Hades Hangman Motorcycle Club take down this uh, cult and rescue some of the girls from the cult. Well, unbeknownst to them, the surviving members of this cult moved to a new location. And the leader's nephew, which is Kane, it is now his duty to become the leader of this cult. And so he steps in place, even though he has been, they have denied him ever being like around the cult. And he has a twin brother named Judah, and they have been raised in a remote location away from this cult but taught the studies that they teach. And then they put him in the Hayes Hangman Motorcycle Club for five years because they were trying to get inside information because they were trying to infiltrate and try to get the guns and all that kind of thing to become more powerful. Well, now he is thrust in this role as leader but as he is seeing what this cult is about, he does not like what they're teaching and he's having doubts and he is putting a stop to some of the many horrible things that this cult is allowing and his brother does not like it and since they're twins, they're identical, he imprisons Cain and acts like Cain himself and so Cain is beat daily. He is um, mistreated horribly until a girl is put in the cell next to his and they form a friendship. Um, she is deemed one of the cursed sisters of Eve which you will have to read the books to kind of really understand what that is in the cult. They have cruel things planned for her so he teams up with other there are other people in the cult that don't agree with what they're teaching so they kind of um, team up and form a plan to help save her. Her name is Bella and so they take her back to the Hayes Hangman Motorcycle Club but Kane slash Ryder betrayed the club earlier for the cult and so they don't trust him and yeah it's very and it's a very action-packed story it is his story of redemption of him realizing what what he kind of grew up in was wrong and how he um, leaves that and and of course it is Ryder and Bella's love story the next book is continuing on in the Hey Tangman series this is number five this one is Damnable Grace by Tilly Cole this follows Phoebe who is a girl in the cult but she is given to this um, crazed man who works closely with powerful organizations. Um, he works closely with the Ku Klux Klan and this cult and he uh, wants her for himself so he has her and he drugs her with heroin and things like that. Um, to subdue and he's doing it to all these girls to pretty much sell sell their bodies. She's the sister of one of the girls from the previous books, Lila, and they decide to go save her. So 
a group of the guys go and try to save her and this follows AK that is his motorcycle club name and he helps her come off the drugs and come off um, everything and try to uh, help her you know live a normal life after all of this horribleness has been done to her and it is their love story and it's very it was very wonderful and I rated it five stars the next book is the sixth book in the Hayes Hangman series. This book is Crux and Tame by Tilly Cole. This follows uh, Cowboy, Hush, and Sia, which is her name is Elysia, but she goes by Sia. She is Kai's sister. Kai is the vice president of the motorcycle club. She has been in a very um, dangerous situation before. She rebelled against the whole motorcycle club because the vice president before was her father and he really didn't want anything to do with her growing up so she just doesn't like the whole motorcycle club scene and so back when she was 18 she rebelled against everybody and went with this dangerous man and fell in love with him but then she realized what he was doing he was into uh, sex trafficking and she escaped him with the help of her brother and her brother's best friend and now she is in hiding. She lives in hiding. She goes under a fake name. And until there have been rumors of this man trying to find her again. And so the motorcycle club sends two guys out to her ranch, Cowboy and Hush. They're both members of the club to protect her. And of course, Cowboy and Hush are best friends because of things that have happened to them previously. They have a whole painful past full of things that you that are revealed and they both like her and it is kind of a thing for them um when they are with a woman they share the woman <laughs> so this is about both of them falling in love with her and her falling in, in love with both of them so it is a male male female uh story and it was really good i love reading their story and i rated it five stars the next book I read is Bountiful by Serena Bowen. This is the fourth book in the True North series. I have been loving reading this True North series and I can't wait to read all of the books in the series. This one is about Zara. She works at this bar that her uncle owns and she pretty much um, runs the whole thing. And in comes this guy one summer uh, with a bunch of friends and he keeps coming in night after night because he's very intrigued with her and they decide to have a kind of friends with benefits type of fling while he is in while he's vacationing there in her small town so they have this fling and then she ends up pregnant but she doesn't remember his last name they try not to talk much about personal details because they knew that this was just going to be a temporary thing so they didn't really hang around each other they just kind of did their thing and went so she has she has been trying to to find him she's having her brother who is in the who is in law enforcement he's trying to find him but they can't find him and her baby is like 15 months old um when as time progresses and when he comes back to the town to vacation there because he loves the um the the small town and the in the beautiful environment and so he comes back to vacation and tries to find her again now since she is a single mom she co-owns a coffee shop and so he finds her there and then finds out that he is a dad and of course she doesn't expect him to be an active dad because she did not have an uh her dad was not active in her life growing up and so she's not really expecting him to step up to that role but she does want him to know and of course he <laughs> is very shocked by this at first but he is gradually coming around to the idea of being a dad and how he takes care of the baby and Zara and it's just it was such a beautiful story I love seeing him step up to the plate to be that for both of them so it was a really good book i really enjoyed it and i can't wait to continue on in the true north series the next book i read was a short novella it's a short steamy erotic book 
this is the number one book in the power tools series this is called kate's crew janie ryland and this follows kate who is working on her house and next door there is a house being built and this crew of five guys are building this house <laughs> and over the summer she has been staring at them as they work and of course you know sparks fly and the owner of the construction company uh really has set his eyes on her and it ends up being a whole reverse harem <laughs> situation where all of them are with her or they experience it since she is so curious about it and they're all kind of in that dynamic so it is a reverse steamy reverse harem uh story and i rated it four stars the next book i read is long shot by kennedy ryan this is the first book in the hoop series this book is very emotional jam-packed <laughs> with so much emotion i was so i was just on the edge of my seat the entire book i've been wanting to read this book for a long time and i'm so glad that i finally picked it up this is about iris who is the girlfriend of this basketball player caleb and she is at this bar one night to watch a basketball game because her favorite team is the Lakers and they weren't airing it where she was at so she went to this bar to catch the game on TV. Well there she meets August who is also a basketball player. They're um, in college and they're actually on rival teams and they are playing for the championship game and she learns a lot about August. They really hit it off but she is somebody else's girlfriend so she doesn't actively pursue anything and so she sticks with Caleb and he is wanting her just to be um, his wife just to stay with him that he will take care of her and not to pursue any of her goals for them just to to pursue his goals and of course she is not wanting that she wants to pursue her goals she is about to get this internship with the sports company she finds out she is pregnant. Something happens with her pregnancy where she has to be on bed rest. And so all of her plans and dreams fall through and she is reliant on Caleb to be there for her and to take care of her, which is totally not what she was expecting for her life. I don't want to spoil this book, but there is abuse in it. I just have to say for a major trigger warning, there is domestic abuse where Caleb abuses Iris and it is horrible and tragic and awful and it just made me so sad reading these scenes where she is just beaten so horribly and raped and I just feel <laughs> I, I feel for anybody who has gone through that situation and I can't even imagine how horrible that is and so i just want to put that disclaimer and trigger warning out there that that is in the book that is a major part of the book but august is a fixture in her life through these times when she has to be with him and she's trying to figure out how to escape and to take her baby away from this awful man and it is a beautiful love story very sad but also very beautiful and i gave it five stars the next book I read is a novella in the Hayes Hangman series. This is number 6.5. This one is called Beauty Found by Tilly Cole. This follows Tank and Beauty. Tank is a member of the Motorcycle Club, but this shows how they met before. Tank was a 15 year old living on the streets and so the Ku Klux Klan organization takes him in up under their wing and he spends five or six years with them and he does end up going to prison for something and when he gets out of prison he has betrayed this the Ku Klux Klan and so they um, his best friend in the organization helps him escape and so he, he somehow he he winds up in the Hayes Hangman Motorcycle Club six months later. During those six months, he found a girl on the side of the road hitchhiking, and she was in a very formal dress. She was had her crown on because she was had just left a beauty pageant. Her mother had forced her to be in these beauty pageants all of her life, 
and she was sick and tired of being her mother's doll and she decided to run away so that is how he found her she jumped on the back of his motorcycle and off they went so his name is tank and her name is beauty and it's just, this is kind of a short novella um, centered around this couple in the motorcycle club it was just an okay story i didn't really feel a great connection to these characters so i only gave the book three stars but it was nice seeing their backstory in this short novella the next book that i read is a court of frost and starlight by sarah j mass this is number 3.1 in the a court of thorns and roses series and this follows Reeson and Feyre and all their friends after they have um, defeated the King of Highburn in the previous book. And this is about them re trying to rebuild their city of Valeris and this uh, solstice time of is pretty much like our version of Christmas where they buy each other gifts and decorate for this for this. For this day of solstice and they are celebrating it and just coming together after this war sorry for the change of scenery my camera had cut off on me earlier when i was filming so i lost some of my video and now i'm having to refilm it so this that is why we have the change of scenery um i left off on reading a court of frost and starlight by sarah j mass so the whole book is them after the war and celebrating solstice and it's just a short novella celebrating that they have defeated the king of highburn and that they are rebuilding after the war it was a cute story following the three major books in a court of thorns and roses series then the next four books we have is in my second readathon that i did in june uh, I will also have that readathon video listed down below. So I will just give you the books that I read. The first one is Easy by Tamara Weber. I rated it four stars. The second one is Fall Back Skyward by Autumn Gray. I rated it five stars. The third one is Released by Ellie Martinez. Then I rated it five stars. And then the fourth one is A Soul Full of Stars by Brie Lauren. And I rated it five stars. Then the next book I read in June is Nadine's Champion. This is number eight in the Ice Home series. This is the spinoff series of the Ice Planet Barbarians. This is about Nadine. She is a human girl who is on this ice planet and she is just realizing that um, she can never go back to Earth. She's stuck on this ice planet. She misses her family and she captures the attention of the alien thrand he is really enraptured by her and he is just a fun, fun goofy guy he loves to make everything a competition he always says i can do that better than you or i bet i can go faster than you and he makes her laugh and she starts to have feelings for him and of course he already has feelings for her and it's a their cute story and i rated it five stars and the last book I read is a short, steamy novella called Can I Come Over by Whitney G. This is about a girl and a guy who platonically um, write on this app and for seven months. They started writing on this app for people who can platonically write to each other and that was all that they had planned to be but then they have written for it to each other for seven months and then they decided to meet and lo and behold <laughs> they actually know each other they had been writing under fake names and when they meet she realizes that this is her dad's best friend so this was very shocking to them but it is a cute really cute story it is a an erotic story you know steamy novella but i liked it more than most of those that i read because it had more storyline to it than just steamy scenes it was just really fantastic it was a really great book to end the month of june with and did it four stars so that is all the books that i read in june let me know what you read in june if you've read any of these books that i read and how you like them i hope you have a great day and i will see you in my next video bye